In this video, we're going to look at 3D trigonometry, and we're going to look at a typical uh, example that would involve 3D trigonometry. So here we've got a cuboid, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and we've got the measurements. The length of it is 4 centimetres, the width of it is 3 centimetres, and the height of it is 3.5 centimetres. And the question is asked us to work out the angle B, H, F. So first of all, let's trace that angle. So B is here, H is down here, F is there. So what I'm actually going to do is just draw those lines on in pencil. Okay, so B to H would be that. So an example would be from the top corner of the room you're in, the top corner, to the opposite bottom corner. Okay, and then from H across the F like that. Okay, so we're trying to work out this angle here. Now what we need to do is to do that, well first of all that's good in one way because it's a right angle triangle, you can see here that this would be a right angle there, okay, so it's a right angle triangle and we would have the height to be 3.5 centimeters and we we sort of then want to work out this angle here, okay, let's uh, label it Vita, um, but we need another side so we either need the hypotenuse or we need the adjacent. Now let's actually look at the bottom of this cuboid. So this bottom of this cuboid is a rectangle. You've got three centimeters here, four centimeters here, and again here is a right angle there. So this is a right angle triangle. So we can actually use Pythagoras on the bottom to work out the length of the diagonal from HF, that length HF. So we can use Pythagoras with FG and GH to get HF. And then once we get this value, this length here, then we can use trigonometry using the height and the diagonal and then we can work out the angle. So first of all let's consider this triangle here, this HGF triangle. I'm just going to draw it out, okay, uh, really messily, I'm really badly there, okay. So the right angle is G and then uh, let's look at it this way, so this is then uh, H which would be up here and F would be down here, okay. So GF, well GF is 3 and GH, GH is four. So all I've done, done is drawn this triangle out here and I have put the three on one side, the four on the other, and the diagonal which we're trying to work out, the length of this diagonal, let's label it X. So we wanna use Pythagoras here. So we'll use Pythagoras' theorem. Remember, label them A, B, C. So A smallest, B middle, C largest. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A is 3, so we're going to do 3 squared plus B is 4, so 4 squared equals X squared, or HF. So because it's HF, we could just call it HF actually there, if we wanted to, HF, uh, or FH in alphabetical order actually. Uh, so this length here, let's call it uh, FH squared, okay? That would be the X, the diagonal, okay? Uh, let's just get rid of that. FH and put in the proper or HF and put in FH. Okay, so 3 squared is 9 plus 4 squared is 16 equals FH squared, the length of this squared. So it's going to be 25 equals FH squared and if you square root that you get 5 equals FH. So that means the distance here along for, uh, the diagonal of the cuboid is equal to five centimeters. So let's put that on. So this is equal to five centimeters there. So now look at this triangle, the one that goes FHB. So FH is five and BF is 3.5 and we want to get this angle. So let's draw this triangle out. So we have got here our BH and we've our BF, sorry, sorry, B at the top, F at the bottom and H over here. And we're gonna draw out our triangle like so. And it's a right angle triangle, right angles there. The height of it is 3.5, and the length of the, uh, the bottom is equal to five centimeters. And we're trying to find the angle here, Vita. So let's label it. So remember trigonometry, two old angels skipped over heaven, carrying a harp. So that is the opposite, so let's label it O. That's the hypotenuse, so that's H. And this is the bottom, uh, this is the third side, so, so opposite hypotenuse, and this is the one that's left, which would be the adjacent. So we've got the adjacent, we've got the opposite, and we're not going to be using the hypotenuse. That's the triangle of O and A, so that will be two old 
angels. Okay, or some people call it Tua. All right, so we're trying to find the angle. So we cover up the tan of the angle. So we cover this up. So we're going to do opposite divided by adjacent. So that means that tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. So the opposite, well, the opposite is equal to 3.5 divided by the adjacent, which is equal to 5. And if we do 3.5 divided by 5, we get that is equal to um, 0.7. So that means the tan of the angle is equal to 0.7. So we just need to do tan minus 1 of the inverse tan of 0.7. And then that will tell us our angle. So let's just check that. Shift tan. Got my calculator in degrees mode. Yep. That is equal to. Oh, that is equal to. Uh, Thirty-four point nine nine degrees. So that means that this angle BHF is equal to thirty-four point nine nine degrees. So whenever you're doing three D trigonometry, the idea is that you can uh, consider different right angle triangles uh, to get the measurements that you need. You may need to use Pythagoras, you may need to use trigonometry. Um, also watch a video on 3D Pythagoras and that may help as well.